A new Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch just hit the EPTU to further test the replication layer. And uh, this is great news. CIG is already on it right away. Um, coming back from the break and already testing replication layer. So this is good news. So let's go straight into what this patch note says here. On the feature updates, they've added a new FPS tool, which is called the Great Cat Industrial Cambio SRT. So I'm going to put a screenshot of it in the background here. And this is going to be um, a large size um, uh, salvage tool. And um, so the tractor beam tool that we have is going to be a larger, a large similar size to that. But this time it's going to be for salvaging and repairing. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, with this one, there's a few bug fixes um, along with the replication layer testing here. And it says here, um, ATC fails to detect vehicles within the loading zone or fail to initiate cargo transfer. Uh, they also fixed an issue where large sections of the Cutlass Black Hall are invulnerable to damage. They fixed an issue where roof external fuel rack does not add to the quantum fuel capacity of the Rambler. They fixed an issue where the landing pad turrets will despawn when streamed out. Now this is for SBK. They also fixed an issue where restreaming in Crusader platform after other players have left it will cause Crusader ships to be destroyed. They also fixed an issue where selling at commodity kiosks sometimes display a transaction cost mismatch dialogue and be limited to selling one unit at a time. That's a good fix right there. They fix an issue that causes the server FPS to drop when trying to repair a snub ship from the constellation with a custom loadout. They also fix an issue where players are unable to press charges when ship is being towed by another player without permission. They also fix an issue where weapons will not shoot and will holster themselves after using med pen while sprinting. I didn't notice this myself uh, previously. Uh, so i'm glad that they're addressing this they also fix an issue causing missiles and bombs and torpedoes to disappear immediately after traveling a short distance from player and it's already been fixed in the hot in the uh live build regression testing here it also says here they fix an issue where using a tractor beam to move ships severely impacts client frame rate and it's already been fixed in the live regression testing as well and it says here they have three client crashes, 10 server crashes, and a server deadlock fix. For those that don't know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.